Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do Roman numerals chapter 2. This exercise 2.1 is on page number 20. Now question 1 says write the value of each of these Roman numerals shown here from A to H. Now look at this table on the right children. This table has two columns. In this column we have the Roman numerals and in the other column we have the Hindu Arabic numerals. Now in the Roman numerals column there are seven numerals and these are the seven basic Roman numerals which all of you should know. So we should know the value of each of these. Now the first one here is I. The value of I is 1. Then we have V. The value of V is 5. Then we have X. The value of X is 10. Then we have L. The value of L is 50. C. The value of C is 100. D. The value is 500. M. The value is 1000. Now you have to learn up this table by heart. So that it will be easy for you to work out questions like this. Shall we begin this? Write the value. So first one is V. And here V, the value is 5. So let's write down the value of V. That is 5. Then we have X. The value of X, look at the table. It is 10. The value of X is 10. Then let's look at the next one. That is L. The value of L in the table, it's shown as 50. So that is the value of L, that is 50. Then the next one is C. So let's go back to the table. What is the value of C? The value of C is 100. So let's write down in this blank, value of C is 100. Then we have D. What is the value of D? In the table, we can see that D is equal to 500. So this is the value of D. Then we have M. The value of M is 1000. Okay, so let's write that. 1000. So here can you see all these seven symbols and their values? We have written the answers here. Now look at question G. There are two letters of M. That is M is repeated two times. And here C is repeated three times. Now there is a rule that you cannot repeat any letter more than three times. So let's keep that in mind when we work out. Now for this, I'm going to show you another table. Look at this table. In this table, we have four columns. Here we have all the ones up to nine. Here we have all the tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, up to 90. Here we have all the hundreds from 100 up to 900. And here we have 1000, 2000 and 3000. So here, like I said, some letters are repeated, isn't it? So M stands for 1000. So when it is repeated, you have to add it up. So remember, whenever a letter is repeated, you have to add it up. So M stands for 1000. So 1M is 1000 and the other M is also 1000. So 1000 plus 1000 is equal to 2000. So this answer, when you have M and M again, the answer is 2000. Let's go to the next one. C, C and C. Three times when C is given, C we know is 100. So three times will be 100 plus 100 plus 100, which is 300. Now let's look at the columns. Now here we have the ones column. So here look at the letter I. Only once it's written so value is 1. When it is repeated 2 times it's 2. When it is repeated 3 times it's 3. Now you cannot repeat it 4 times to make it 4. Because the rule says you can't repeat any symbol more than 3 times. Okay so here we have written only 3 times. Now how do we write the symbol 4? How do we write 4 in Roman numerals? So, to write the Roman numeral 4, now let me take 4 here. If I have to write the Roman numeral 4, I write 5 and I put 1 to the left of it. That means, if I put 1 to the left, I can subtract. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, what is the Roman symbol for 4? I and V. Because 5 minus 1. When I put 1 to the other side, it becomes 5 plus 
1. Okay, and remember you can only put a lesser value symbol to the left. See, 1 is smaller than 5, so I can put only a smaller value to the left. That's how we get 4. Then we have 5, and look at 6. 5 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. Now here I cannot say 5 plus 4 because I cannot repeat my symbol more than 3 times. So how do I write 9? Now just like we did for 4, for to write 9 we say 10 minus 1. So can you see that when we put 1 before a bigger 1, bigger symbol, we have to subtract. 10 minus 1 is 9, 5 minus 1 is 4. So that's how we get 9. So these are the ones columns. All these stand for the ones. Now let's go to the tens. Look at the tens. We have 10, 1x and then 2 times you repeat that x you get 20. 3 times will be 10 plus 10 plus 10, 30. Now 40 we cannot write it 3 times because the rule is against it. So in that case how do we write 40? Look at 40 here. Now, I am going to write 50 and what is the symbol for 50? L. And if I minus 10 from L, 50 minus 10 is 40. So, that is how I get 40. Can you see it here? 40 is X L. 50 minus 10. You can only put a smaller value symbol to the left. 50 is L. 60 is 50 plus 10 is 60. 70 is 50 plus 10 plus 10. 50 plus 20 is 70. This will be 50 plus 30 is 80. Now how do we write 90? So again let's take 90. 90 is 100 minus 10. So put 100 and put 10 here. It becomes 100 minus 10 which is XC. Okay. Now if you look at the hundreds column, 100 C 200 is 100 plus 100. 300 is 100 plus 100 plus 100. Now 400 is 500 minus 100. Now how did we get that? Now 400, we cannot write 4 C's, isn't it? So instead what do we write? We write 500 which is D and we put C before that. C is of a smaller value than 500. C is 100, D is 500. So if you write a smaller value to the left, it becomes minus. So 500 minus 100 is 400. Okay, that's how we got C, D. Then 500 is D, 600 is 500 plus 100. 700 is 500 plus 200. 800 is 500 plus 300. Now 900 is... 1000 minus 100. So, hope you got that. 1000 minus 100. So, let's have a look at that. So, 900 will be 1000. And how much is 1000? M. And minus 100. So, if it's minus 100, I have to put it to the left. Okay, so this is CM, that is 1000 minus 100, which is 900. And then 1000 is M, 2000 is 1000 plus 1000, 3000 is 1000 plus 1000 plus 1000. So if you know this table, it's going to be easy for you to write the value of the Roman numerals. This is when we convert Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. Now convert these numbers to Roman numerals. Now we are going to convert it to Roman numerals. So here we are going to keep this table in mind. Now 55. Now whenever you have to write in Roman numerals, you have to add. So 55 will be 50 plus 5, isn't it? So let's write that. 55 will be 50 plus 5. And how much is 50? Look at the table of 10. Now 50 is L and 5 is V. So this is 55. We've got the symbol L and V. Second one is 103. That is 100 plus 3. Now how much is 100? Look at the table. 100 is C. 
and 3, we have 3 of these symbols. So that is C and then 1, 2, 3, 103. The next is 305. So let's look for 300 in the hundreds column. 100, 200, 300. So 300, we have to write 3 hundreds. So that is 3 C. So 305 is 300 plus 5. So 300 is 100 plus 100 plus 100 and 5 is B. So that is 305. Next one is 501. So that is 500 plus 1. And how much is 500? Let's look at the hundreds column. 500 is D and 1 is I. So let's write that 501 is D, I. Next we have 80. So let's look at the tens columns. So here we have the tens column. Let's look at 80. 80 is 50 plus 30. So let's write that. So that's 50 plus 30. And how much is 50? How do we write 50? 50 is L and 30 is 3 tens. 10 plus 10 plus 10. So we've got 80. Next one is 83. So that is 50 plus 30 plus 3. Okay, so 50 is L, 30, 10, 20, 30, and then 3, 1, 2, 3. So we've got 83. Now 400, now look at 400 in the table. 400 is C, D, that is 500 minus 100. So C is for 100 and D is 500. When C comes to the left, it is subtraction. So it is 500 minus 100, which is 400. Now 99, that will be 90 plus 9. Now how do we write 90? Look at 90 here, it is 100 minus 10. So first let's write that. So we write 100 and we put 10 on the left, it becomes minus 100 minus 10 is 90. Then we have to write 9 and look at 9 also, 9 is 10 minus 1. So again 9 is 10 minus 1. So what do we have here? 99. So we've got all our Roman numbers here. Let's go to question 3. Now here convert these Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. So look at the Roman numerals now and convert it to our Hindu Arabic numerals. Now D. What is the value of D? 500. So let's write 500. Now here we have C, C and C. Each C stands for 100. So 100, 200, 300. So we have 300 here. So when we have to convert Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals, go from left to right slowly, look at each letter and write the value. Now what is L? L, the value is 50. Look at the table, the value of L is 50. So I can write 50. Then I have V, V is 5 and then I have 3 I, so 3. So 50 plus 5 plus 3, 50 plus 5 is 55 plus 3 is 58. Next one we have 100 plus 100, so that is 200. Let's write 200 and then we have plus X, C. X is 10 and C is 100. So when you have a smaller value symbol on the left, remember it's subtraction. So this is 100 and this is 10. So 100 minus 10 is 90. 100 minus 10 is 90. So the answer is 290. Next one, L. L stands for 50. So let's write 50 plus, now we have 10, 20, 30. 50 plus 30, which is 80. Then let's go to the next one. Here we have X and L. Again, we have a smaller value number before a bigger one. So that is 50 minus 10. 50 minus 10 is 40. So that is, you can write it that way. 50 minus 10 plus 5. So 50 minus 10 is 40 plus 5, which is 45. Next one, again we have XL, that is 50 minus 10, 50 minus 10 plus, again here also we have 
10 minus 1. 10 minus 1, you can write it as 10 minus 1 or you can write it as 9. So here 50 minus 10 is 40 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. So the answer is 49. Next one. Here we have 50. So let's write that. 50 plus 10, 20, 30, 30 plus. Now here 5, 6, 7, 8 plus 8. So 50 plus 30 is 80. 80 plus 8 is 88. So we've got our answers here. Question 4. Compare the following. That means see which is greater or smaller and fill in using these signs. This is lesser than. This is greater than. This is equal to. We have to put it in the box. We can use this table just to help us. Now look at this. 10 and 50. Isn't it? So 10 is smaller and it is on the left hand side. That means it's subtraction. That means this is 50 minus 10. How much is 50 minus 10? 40. Now let us look at this one. This L is 50 plus we have 3. So 50 plus 3 is 53. So which is greater? 53 is greater and 40 is smaller. Let's go to the next one. We have L that is 50. So let's write it down. 50 plus 10, 20. So 20 plus now here, can you see you have i and x? That means we have a smaller value number before a bigger value number. i is 1 and x is 10. 1 is smaller. So this is 10 minus 1, which is 9. So 50 plus 20 plus 9. Let's add this up and see what we get. 9. 5 plus 2 is 7. 79. Now, on this side, we have x and we have c. x is 10 and c is 100. So, x is smaller than c. So, if it has come on the left, then it is minus 100 minus 10. That is 90. So, we can see that 79 is lesser than 90. So, let's put the symbol this way. Now, let's go to this one. The next one, we have 10 and 100. So 10 is on the left side of 100. That means 100 minus 10. 100 minus 10 is 90. Then we have 1, 2, 3 plus 3. 90 plus 3 is 93. On the right side, we have 100 plus 10. So this is 100 plus 10 plus 3. How much is that? Let's add it up. 100 plus 10 plus 3. 3. Add all this up. 3, 1, 1. 113. So on the right hand side we have 113. So again we can see that the left hand side 93 is smaller than 113. Now let's go to the next one. M, C. M stands for, look at the table, M stands for 1000 and C is for 100. So we can add it up. 100 1000 plus 100. 1000 plus 100. Let's add it up. If you want to add it up and see. 1000 plus 100. 0, 0, 1, 1. 1100. So this side is 1100. Let's look at the other side. M stands for 1000. So let's write 1000 plus. Now we have L. L is 50 plus we have 10, 20, 30, plus 30. Let's add this up. So that is 1000 plus 50 plus 30. So how much do we get? 0, 5 plus 3 is 8, 0, 1. 1080. So now you can see that 1100 is greater than 1080. So let's put our symbol this way. Next one we have C which is 100. So let's write 100 plus we have 10 plus 10 that is 20. 100 plus 20 is 120 and on the other side we have C that is 100 plus we have X that is 10 plus we have IX. IX is 10 minus 1 which is 9. So 100 
plus 10 plus 9. When we add this up, what do we get? 119. So let's write 119. Now 120 is greater than 119. So our symbol comes this way. Question 5. Fill in the box with suitable Roman numerals. So in these blanks, now instead of boxes, I've drawn blanks here. We're going to fill this with a suitable Roman numeral. That means we need to find the values of these. So let's add this up. 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. So this is 30 plus 3. 30 plus 3 is 33. Now 33 plus what will give us L? What is L? L stands for 50. Look at the table if you have a doubt. L stands for 50. So <clears throat> the 33 plus what will give us 50? So to find that we have to subtract 50 and 33. So from 50 take away 33. To subtract, we need to borrow. So this is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 4 minus 3 is 1. 17. So in this blank, we have to write the Roman numeral for 17. Now how do we write the Roman numeral for 17? For 17, we say 10 plus 7. And how much is 10? 10 is x. And 7 is v. That is 5, 6, 7. So this is how we write 17 in Roman numerals. So let's write that 10 plus 5, 15, 16, 17. So the answer there is 17. Now let's look at the next one. Now L stands for 50. Look at the table. L stands for 50. So that is 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 30. 50 plus 30 is 80. 80 minus what will give us? What is this number? This is 50 plus Ix is 9, 59. So 50, 80 minus 50, what will give us 59? We have to minus these two numbers. Then we'll get this number in the middle. So that is 80 minus 59. Let's subtract this. We need to borrow from here. So this is 7 now and then this becomes 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 7 minus 5 is 2. 21. We need to write 21 in Roman numerals. That is 20 plus 1. 20 is 10 plus 10. And 1 is this. So this is 21 which we need to write in the blank there. So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 1 is 21. So we have our answer there 21. Now here C stands for 100. Look at the table here. C is 100. That means 100 plus 10 plus 10 that is 20 plus B that is 5. So 100 plus 20 plus 5, 100 plus 20 plus 5, if we add this up, we get 5, 2 and 1, 125. So this number is 125. Let's go to the next Roman numeral. So C stands for 100. So that is 100 plus 10 plus 10 is 20 plus Ix is 9. So 100 plus 20 plus 9. So add this up. We get 9, 2 and 1, 129. So this number is 129. Now what does it say here? We have to add up these two numbers. So plus. So this is plus. So I'm going to add up 129 and 125. So we have 125 on top. Let's add it up. 5 plus 9 is 14. Carry 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. We have 254. We should write that in Roman numerals. That is 200 plus 50 plus 4. Now, how do we write 100? 100 is C. So 200 will be C and C. Two Cs, isn't it? C plus C, 100. Now, how much is 50? 50 is L. So let's write L. And how much is 4? 4 is 5 minus 1. When you put a smaller value to the left of a bigger value number, you have to minus. So this is 200 plus 50 plus 4, 254. So let's write this number there. C, C, L, I, V. So that is 254. Now here let's see what this number is. C. C stands for 100 plus 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 1. 121. Now here we have L. L is 50 
plus we have x, x is 10. 50 plus 10 is 60 and here it says minus. So to find this number we have to subtract these two. So let's do that 121 minus 60. So this is 1. Here we have to borrow. So 12 minus 6 is 6. We have 61. How do we write that in Roman numerals? 61 is 50 plus 10. That makes it 60 plus 1. So 50 is L, 10 is X, 1 is I. So this is our answer. 50, 61. So that is L is 50 plus 10 is 60 plus I is 61. Let's go to the next one. So here we have L which is 50 plus 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 1, 2, 3 is 3. 50 plus 20 plus 3 is 73. Now this side we have C which is 100. So C is 100. Now here it says 73 plus what will give us 100. So that means we have to minus 73 from 100. So minus. Now we need to borrow from here. 0, 10, 9 and 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. That's 27. How do we write 27 in Roman numerals? 20 plus 7. 20 is 10 plus 10. 7 is 5, 6, 7. So let's write that. 10 plus 10, 20. 25, 26, 27. Now the last one. C stands for 100. So let's write that. 100 plus 10 plus 10 is 20. 100 plus 20 is 120 minus. Now here we have 50 and then we have 5 plus 1. 50 plus 5 plus 1 is 56. So let's minus that. 120 minus 56. 120 minus 56. Now we have to borrow here. Let's borrow. So 10 minus 6 is 4. Then we have 11 minus 5 which is 6. 64. How do we write 64? We can say 50 plus 10 is 60. 60 plus 4 is 64. So 50 is L. 10 is X. 4 is I, V. So what do we have there? We have L, X, I and V. So this is 54. Question 6. Write these answers in Roman numerals. So we have here, the question is, what is the sum of these two Roman numerals? Sum means you have to add it up. And what are these two? Let's add this up and see what these numbers are first. So this is 10 plus 10 plus 10, that's 30, plus 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 8 is 38. So 38 plus sum of means we add, what is this? 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25. So the question is, what is the sum of 38 and 25? So first let's add it up in the Hindu Arabic numerals, 38 plus 25. 8 plus 5 is 13, carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, in the Hindu Arabic numerals, we have 63. Let's write that in Roman numerals. 63, you can write it as 50 plus 10 makes it 60 plus 3. 50 is L plus X, X uh, 10. 10 is X and then 3. 1, 2, 3. So, what is the answer? The answer is L, X, I, I and I. This is our answer. What is the sum of these two now? So fi let's find out what this number is and what this number is. So this is L is 50 plus 1, 2, 3. 3 tens is 30 plus 5 plus 1 is 6. 50 plus 30 is 80. 80 plus 6 is 86. And what is this number? This number is 10 plus 1. And how much is 10 plus 1? 11. And now we have to find the sum of 86 and 11. So 86 plus 11. 6 plus 1 is 7. 8 plus 1 is 9. 97. 97, we can write it as 90 plus 7. Now how do we write 90? We write 100 minus 10. 
So when we put it on the left side, it becomes 10. 100 minus 10 is 90 plus 7. 7 is 5, 6, 7. So what is our answer? Our answer is X, C, V, I and I. What is the sum of these two? Now let's see what this is. Now this is 10 and this is 100, isn't it? 10 and 100, that means 10 has come before 100 and it is smaller than 100. If a smaller value comes before a bigger value, we have to subtract. So 10, that means 100 minus 10. So this becomes 100 minus 10, which is 90. And here on this other side, we can see C, which is 100, plus X, which is 10. So here, can you see, X has come on the right side. So we are adding. Here, when X came on the left side, we subtracted. So now this is 100 plus 10, which is 110. To find the sum, we have to add this up. So let's add up 110 and 90. 0, 1 plus 9 is 10, carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 200. How do we write 200 in the Roman numerals? We write 100, let's write that, 100 plus 100. That is C plus C. So our answer is simply C and C. Question D, what is the sum of these two numbers? Now this is 10 plus 10, that's 20 plus 3. 23 plus 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 5, 6, 7 plus 7 is 27. So 23 plus 27. 3 plus 7 is 10, carry 1, 2, 4, 5. Now how do we write 50 in Roman numerals? Look at the table. It shows that 50 is L. So that is our answer. So let's write the answer here. Answer is L. Question 7. Write true or false. Question A, M can be repeated thrice. That means, can we write M, M and M? Some letters cannot be repeated, but M can be repeated. Now, the letters V, L and D cannot be repeated. We never repeat these three letters, but M can be repeated three times. So, this answer is true. Next one, C stands for 100. That is also true. C stands for 100. Now here, I, X. Now we have 1 and 10. We have 1, which is a smaller value to the left of 10. So this becomes 10 minus 1, which is 9. And this is 10. But the question says that this is bigger than this, which is false. So this statement is false. Next one, 1100 can be written this way. Yes, because this is 1000, this is 100, 1000 plus 100 is 1100. This statement is also true. Question 8. Move one math stick. So here can you see there are a lot of math sticks. Move one math stick in each case to make the statement true. So here it says 1 plus 3 equals 6. Which is not true, but we are going to change the arrangement of the matrix to make the statement true. Now, how do we do it? So, here it is 1 plus 3 is equal to 6. Now, if we move this stick, this stick which is here, this matrix, and put it this side, it becomes 4, isn't it? So, we can say 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, we have moved the matrix from the right side to the left side and we have made it 4. We can also do one more thing. We can remove this math stick and put it here. So when we put it here, how many does it become? 2. 2 plus 3 will now become 5. So we can do that. We can move that also 2 and then plus 3 is equal to 5. So these are two ways that you can rearrange question A, the math sticks in question A. Now question B. So here we have 6. Here we have 2. And here it says 6 minus 2 is 7, which is wrong, isn't it? So here what we can do is we can move this stick here to the middle and make it plus. So what does it become? It becomes 5 plus 2 is equal to 
7, which is correct. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So what did we do? We moved the stick to the middle to make it a plus sign. So we get this 5 plus 11 is 7. Or we can move one stick from here and put it here and make it plus again. Then it becomes 6 plus, there will be only one stick here. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So that is another way. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So you can rearrange your math sticks and you can get answers like this. So with this children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.